Hey guys, welcome to Abundant Life with Five. I'm Priscilla. If you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Today, I am picking my Serrano chili peppers. As you can see, I have a whole bunch. Guys, these took, these took really long to grow. Like, today is October 22nd, and look, they finally turned red, and there's a lot of them that's in here that is green. But yesterday, what I did was I trimmed all of the stuff that got frost frosted. So, this is the green pepper right here i think i did a pretty good job with the leaves for the first time doing this and this right here is our red pepper and then those are either banana peppers or mackerel peppers i have a couple of them over here so that's what i did and i'm also trying to um winterize these peppers as well so i don't know if i'm going to leave them here or take them out and put them in a greenhouse or what but this is what the peppers look like guys and let's get started picking because i'm going to be here for a while so let's see and should i put on gloves i might should put on gloves i think i'm gonna get some gloves guys okay guys i am back and i have my gloves on and i love what this says lovely garden lovely life and that is totally true because out your garden, you're not healthy, you know? You need to eat healthy, guys. That's what I'm trying to do. That's why I came out to the homestead. But this is the bucket that I have. I'm going to put the peppers in there. So I have my trimmers right here from Ace. And I'm just going to cut them and let them fall. Then I'll pick them up after that. Because, you know, I'm showing you guys how I'm cutting them. Let me see. I don't want to lose them, so... I'm going to pick them. Ew, grasshopper. I'm going to pick them and cut them at the same time. A nice pretty orange one right here. Why did I get the gloves for it if I'm still going to use my hands? Guys, and it's hot today. We have three days of like 70 degree weather. One day is going to be 80. So we're really happy about that. So, yeah. Okay. This one looked like it got a little frostbitten right here. As you can see, it's like you got a little frostbitten. Okay, almost lost that one. Another one over here. I'm going to do a few more guys and then I'm going to start picking it myself because guys it's getting hot out here already but we better enjoy this while we can because the next couple days it's gonna be freezing out here like freezing and i find it easier to pick these peppers with your hand oops that's fine I was, i'm gonna trim some more of this anyway because i'm gonna de-winterize the peppers because these take a long time to grow so I don't want to have to start over like we did and by the way these peppers came from New York guys I started them as baby 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 little tiny little seedlings and I brought them all the way to Pennsylvania so it can be done as well as my broccoli over there I don't know if you guys see my broccoli I'm going to try to zoom in but it's over there and it's still flowering and eating off of it and stuff like that so yeah, look at the green peppers, guys. They look amazing, amazing. They really do. I can't wait to pick those soon. They're growing really, they, they're growing really fast. They totally love the winter. They, they really love the winter. I'm gonna send some of these peppers to my mom too because I have so many in. We picked a lot of green ones yesterday the ones that um, were hitting the frost. Oh, look at this pretty purple. Wow, it's like, it's turning like a beautiful purple to me. Mm. We're trying to enjoy these last, it feels like summer <laughs> days, these last three summer days, because when it get cold out here, guys, it's like different from New York. It is like, way different from New York when it gets cold out here. It's a different type of cold. Guys, these things be hiding. Thank God they bright red. Okay. 
Okay. Let me show you guys how many we have so far. Like, wow. That's a lot of peppers. I have almost a jar, a bowl full of peppers. I yeah, know I'll be stumbling over my words. This is not my native tongue. So excuse me, I'm supposed to be speaking Hebrew. I got no one from Brooklyn, New York City. I kind of miss New York though, a little bit. Just the conveniences of New York, like going to the corner store, stuff like that. Cause out here you gotta jump in the car. You ain't no going to the corner store. <laughs> But I'm going to finish this up, guys, and I'm going to come back and show you the end of the harvest. Okay, guys, I am back, and this is what the Serrano pepper tree looks like now. Now it's, like, mostly all green, as you guys can see. But let me show you the harvest, guys. But let me show you guys the harvest. Like, so many peppers, like, oh, my God. And I also found a tomato as well. So many peppers, so many. All praises to y'all. But shalom, bless you. Y'all loves you. Come out of her and just plant, harvest your seeds. And you, like I said before, you can do many things. You can can these peppers. You can turn them into hot sauce. You can also dice them and put. You can pickle them. You can just do so many things. You can dehydrate these. A lot of things you can do with these peppers. But shalom, bless you. Y'all loves you. Come out of her. Shalom.